fan. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, after that brief interruption that um, I had, uh, we're back with part two of this Ryan Frost uh, dick interview. Um, Inappropriate. Well, I... Inappropriate. Yeah. Can I please finish what I was saying about Dan the Man now? Yes, I was going to. I'd say that where we left off was your Yeah, about well, don't worry about it. I got Go it. Ahead. So Dan Go the Man, um, I believe him and Bobby started around the same time. And uh, Dan the Man has, has been a huge influence, a huge help to me, because like I was saying, I'm very good at talking. I have an acting degree, yeah. and I'm very intelligent. I've told you a couple times. I'll tell you a few more if you need me to. Um, so speaking in the context of professional wrestling and making sure that you're getting your point across – for, for a lot of imbeciles in the audience and also to make sure that you're cutting deep enough when you're talking junk about your opponent to get into their head and play the mind games the right way. Dan, the man is the absolute master and he has helped me a great deal. That said out in RICW, which is uh, Rhode Island championship wrestling out of the chop shop where uh, you have the brand um, you have uh, Devin Baker, um, Deshaun, hot shot Deshaun. Um, you have Coach Will, who, um, you know, he's very, very good for somebody who hasn't been doing it long. Um, Mighty Bosch is out there sometimes. Um, excuse me. You have a lot of young guys who, who still have experience and they're doing a lot. Cole Cash and I, or Cole Cash, TJ Howell the third and I, um, have spent some time out there gotten some reps out there and we had a little altercation with Xander lit who dug deep and enlisted Dan, the man to be his, his secret partner for their biggest event of the year. So he got a superstar and we had to wrestle against Dan, the man. And, and it was, uh, it was a challenge. Dan, the man is, is fantastic. Um, if we cross paths again, I now have reference, to uh, to go off of I have I have a couple of new schemes and a couple of new ideas on how to approach that um, but at the end of the day I don't I don't see us crossing paths too many more times as opponents in fact if I had an opportunity to work with the guy I don't see any promotion that has enough stars to stop us now um, just a few more questions um, please I'll talk all day as much as as nice as that sounds, <laughs> it's very hot in my room right now. So I have a little fan in my corner right now. Just and that's not doing anything. Um, what has your diet been like throughout this quarantine? And what's your diet when you are wrestling? That is very interesting, and I, I'm I'm impressed that you uh, you came up with that question. Um, so yesterday I ate everything, everything there was. Burgers and hot dogs oh. and, and all the uh, mac and cheese, uh, coleslaw, all the stuff. It was Memorial Day. Um, mm-hmm. one, of, one of the biggest reasons that I decided even at a later age to start wrestling was because uh, one of my best friends who I res- did backyard wrestling with when we were kids, uh, Private First Class Gieber Noonan, was murdered uh, serving in Iraq. And that's one of the biggest reasons that I decided, okay, I'm going to wrestle because Gieb can't. You know, he, I don't know if he ever would have. You know, he, he was embarking on a great career as a serviceman, but uh, that's a huge um, push towards actually doing something I had dreamed of doing forever and never pulled the trigger on. So uh, it's Memorial Day. I spend, spend Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Veterans Day with his family. Um, that said, um, half a cup of rice, half a cup of broccoli and a cup of chicken is my lunch like 11 to 12 meal um a two egg whole grain english muffin sandwich uh is my breakfast breakfast at like 7 a.m 6 a.m um five ounces of ground turkey is my last meal of the day and uh baby spinach salad with shredded carrots and and another cup of chicken is the uh is the third meal kind of and then there's when i'm working out there's a power bar in there like a protein bar um now that's the routine 
you can look at me. Rip Rogers would tell you, you don't have to say a word if you're going to the gym and eating right because the mirror doesn't lie. Rip Rogers is a fucking genius. He's, he, he's simple, but he's a genius. I obviously don't always adhere perfectly strictly to the diet. At times I have some beers, um, but, and, and I don't exercise as much as I should. If all of those things lined up, I was 219 pounds um, shortly after my debut. I was uh, happy and comfortable in the singlet without having a tank top on over it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I'm not saying anything. I, I am not comparing myself skill-wise, talent-wise, composure-wise to Kevin Owens. But that sets a uh, precedent where, unfortunately, somebody like myself who could stand to lose a few pounds is like, okay, well, I'm just going to wear a tank top over the singlet. Um, that's not a good enough excuse, and I really I, I am genuinely – for, for at least the last month working on it so that when we come back, A, I'm not blown up, sucking wind and unable to perform. B, I look more imposing. And C, um, I, I want to be able to, to get looks and get noticed and get opportunities at these next step promotions. So all of that is in mind. Um, and I'll be, I'm gonna tell you completely honestly, everything I just said, because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be like, yeah, well, I got a great engine in here, brother. Don't worry about this. This is a, you know, this is a love fuel machine. Like I'm, I get that. I, I, I get that you can say, I look like a dad right now. <laughs> fucking pasty bastard. But, Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, you know what? I'll tell you one thing that's really funny because I, I really, I'm not worried about it. But uh, one of these fans out in Rhode Island, he goes, uh, me and TJ are out there, and he's like, how come a poor man's AJ Phoenix and a poor man's my dad are in the ring? And I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> you can come in the ring with me if you want. Let's see what goes on. Because that's the other thing is I can, I can beat some ass, dude. Like, that's, that's a shoot. Like, I don't want to fight anybody in real life. Like, fight. That's why I don't like hardcore. I want to wrestle. But... You know, I wouldn't piss me off either. I, I, I get pretty mad. Um, starting to lose connection a little bit. Um, I don't want that. I don't want it to happen again. Um, so I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you very much. Did you have one like, like one to... big question you were you were trying to close out with? Um, is there anything that you'd like to promote or even ask me that it's kind of like a two-parter but i appreciate it um i just want to say tos is the only place to train if you want to get as good as you could be you look at guys like hippie dicky moon sammy diaz uh who got their start elsewhere and pwa was a great place a great school but they moved on to test the strength when there was no pwa anymore and they've gotten even better it's just it's just a different mindset it's you're learning from different people you learn this here and you learn this here if your journey does not bring you two tests of strength at any point you are not going to be a complete wrestler um that said they make some dumb decisions about uh promotion and i should be fighting all the big names but hey <laughs> um they got a uh, tos battlefront obviously is great um racw check it out online I, not everybody can get to Rhode Island, but you can always watch it online. Everything King Leon is doing with this Black Blade Wars is is mint. It's money. It's uh, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. for the next three weeks. For a month straight, there's going to be content coming from that. Um, and for me, oh, heel shit, design and apparel. Uh, you can get belts made if you're a promoter, but you can get, like, T-shirts and anything you need from our family of wrestlers, The Firm, Cold Cash, uh Elijah Six, uh, Ichiban, uh, Hippie, Dickie Moon, Above the Influence. You can get all that from them. And then uh, if you like metal music, listen to Continuum out of Connecticut. Um, I think it put everybody over. Good job. Um, are you the future or is that somebody else? Yeah, I'm the future. That's okay. What okay. Well, good job, even though you, you, you kind of poked the bear a little bit trying to start start a little trouble but you i'm I, a pasty bastard 
What do you expect? That, that was the nicest thing I could say after everything you said to me. I could okay. be a lot meaner, bro. I'm, I'm I can paying eat. you respect, and I appreciate your time. I appreciate you giving me this time. And uh, hopefully we'll all be in audiences soon, man. You know? I thought you were going to be a way bigger dick today. But <laughs> you, you were a pretty nice guy. Uh, well, then remember that you're a pasty bastard. Um. Anyway, thanks for your time again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next interview. Ryan F. Russell's Instagram and Facebook. Way to say that at the